But you know, every now and again he'll ring me and he'll say, wow, I can't believe it actually does that. Mark, yet another installation of a MAM 7235V. Tell us about the company that this one's at and why they purchased it. That's good, isn't it, hey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're gradually spreading the word. Um, yes, obviously, the, the, the Matsura MAM 7235V is our, is our flagship machine. Um, we're very proud to be selling this type of machine to, to relatively young companies like, um, like Moltex. Yeah, I mean, 2016 they were founded here already doubled in size since then. They've obviously got an eye for ambition, haven't they? And this is, this is part of it. What's it going to do for them and why did they purchase it? Well, they wanted to ex, you know, uh, expand their exposure into the, into the marketplace um, through looking at uh, components that maybe they could command a higher price for, but also to give them that, that, that ultimate return on their investment, the fact that you can run it 24-7 and utilise every hour of every day. Um, one of the things that Ashley, who's one of the co-owners, said to me is that they were struggling sometimes to satisfy the need of customers that wanted high volumes of high value parts with their yeah. existing machinery. This will do that, but it'll also do um, ones and twos off as well, won't it? So it gives them the best of all worlds. Yes, that's right. As, as, as one of my colleagues says, you know, it's, 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 it's Dominic, you know, <laughs> it's the world's best vending machine, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, Ash has, uh, has commented on that in the past to us. The fact that they do their prove outs during the day, if they're running some, uh, some complex parts, they can use the machine as a single table or a two or a three pallet machine. And then as soon as they go home for the night, the machine just goes back into its production cycle, into its schedule, and will run potentially for, for two, three days unmanned. Now Matsura have been doing very well over recent years, and uh, I'm, I'm interested to know with current, uh, current affairs at the moment, energy costs and things yep. like that, how are you finding the marketplace and how does this machine What's the benefit to a, to a machine like this in that environment where people are looking at additional costs for you know, factors that they can't control? Well, obviously, you know, energy costs are the, are the, the, the big thing at the moment, for sure. Um, and any five axis, any machine tool is going to be very heavy on its consumption. But obviously, what we allow the machine to do is to run through periods of time when it doesn't need to be manned. So, you know, we are, we are gaining the benefit, if you like, of, you know, I, I say to my customers, it's four hours manning for 24 hours running. Um, and if you start to look at it like that, then obviously the hourly rates that you can apply to the machine tool can take into account the fact that you don't necessarily have the man there. So you're still returning a good rate off of the machine through every hour of the day. Yeah, because I would think that this the situation could actually push people more towards this because they can potentially, you know, maybe get more output in this footprint than they can out of a, a much bigger unit, if that makes sense. They could reduce the, the size of where they're yeah, operating, sure. yeah. which is reducing costs, but still output more. Oh, that's right, yeah. I mean, you've seen some of our customers that have bought this type of machine. They're, they're very small units. Um, but, you know, if you're, if you're in the marketplace and you are... Uh, the type of customer that is looking to invest in something that is going to give you that, that, that much higher return on the investment, then the, the, the 35V is, is something to consider for sure. Uh, for new users to this, brand new user to yep. Matsura, what do they have to factor in when they're buying it to, in order to keep that unmanned running? You know, I mean, Ashley mentioned he went for 200 odd tools, but now he's thinking next time he'll go for over 300. These are things that, as, as, as new to this market, you, you might not be able to, yeah. to, to grasp mean, the, and get hold of. The number of tool pockets is always a contentious issue when we sell a 35V. And as Ash has already commented, you know, he's got over two, just over 200 in this machine at the moment. He can expand it to 330. But a lot of customers will look at it and go, well, 130 to start with, that won't take me long to fill it up. So I'll add another couple of racks. But the beauty of the, the 35V is that we can add another rack of 40 at any time. And it takes about half a day to, to fit them. Okay, and I'm also thinking about when you are running unmanned, if you're new to it, what, how often you say unmanned, but do you still need an operator here? Is he still got to manage the swarf bins? Is he still got to put coolant in the machine? What are those things that maybe don't come under the name of unmanned that people do have to think about as well? Well, or, or don't they? We, we, yes, they do, for sure. <laughs> um, you know, one of, the, one of the key points that uh, that, that Matsuro always put across is, you know, we are 100% confident that our machine will run 24-7, but it is all of the ancillary functions as well that need to be there to keep that machine running. You know, you've got to have the tool length measurement, you've got to have, um, you know, the error checking 
uh, taking place within the machining cycle. It's not necessarily the ultimate machining cycle you're after. You need a capable process so that you know that at the end of the, the shift, the end of the day, you're getting good parts out. Now, one of the points that Ashley made to us earlier was that with some of the metal removal rates he's currently using, his machine potentially starts to stop around you know, a, a, a Sunday evening or a Sunday lunchtime. So what we're currently doing at this machine at the moment is we're looking to put an auto coolant top up, which will then dose a litre of coolant in at a time as soon as it hits a certain level. Uh, how do you know he's a satisfied customer? Has he ever rung you and told you so? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm sure he's probably told you this, but um, you know, one of the things that Ash quite oft, often mentions is the accuracies that he gets out of this machine, or there'll be something that uh, you know, surprises him and quite often he'll, he'll ring me up and he'll say, Mark, I can't believe, I've, you know, something I would never ever have thought I could do and this machine, it just does it, you know, tight, ultra small cutters, you know, he's, he's ball nosing down at 0.75 diameter um, and he's measuring components to keep the machine running as long as he can. But, you know, every now and again he'll ring me and he'll say, wow, I can't believe it actually does that. And would you say that would apply to someone that does just have low volumes? Uh, no. Could be any material, could be any job shop. Is this machine for them? Are they going to watch this and go, do you know what? Good luck to the guy, but that, that, that's not for me. No, I mean, we've got customers, you know, I, I have a customer in my area. He's got uh, five 35Vs running the same component day and night. So it's, it's it, if opposite ends of the spectrum from Moltax to them, you know, these are doing ones and twos off and this other customer is running 24-7 on the same part across multiple machines. True flexibility. Good times at Matsura at the moment? Definitely, definitely, definitely. Great place to work. Um, but yes, it's a... Combination of the people and the kit. Oh, definitely, yes. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, you know, it, I, I love selling Matsura. There's no question about that whatsoever. It's a fantastic product. Um, it goes in, it's very reliable, it runs for a long time, um, gives you lots and lots of years of reliable uh, unmanned running, potentially.